Well, hello guys. So it is Monday. I'm still finding it cold. I haven't done my hair or face or anything like that. So excuse me. Um, but that's just how it's going to be today because I've got a cold. So <laughs> I'm not going to bother with any of that. Now, today I am going to get ahead with my laundry. <laughs> I have to vacuum and stuff before I can do all this. And I'm just tidying up my kitchen because though it was done last night. What did I see? Can you see? It's always pretty much a disaster. After the school run, after everyone's had breakfast and all that, I come home to a, a mild disaster every day. So, <laughs> you say hello? Emma. Hi. What'd you say? Uh, hi, Diana. Yeah, you say hello to the people. Hi, hi people. Hi, people. <laughs> so I make my kitchen nice and hygienic again and just doing things that get behind over the weekend, like um, more people are in the kitchen over the weekend, obviously, and so I'm just cleaning down some of the cupboards and that sort of thing, and I'll probably mop later. I'm not going to mop yet because what I'm doing today is I'm getting ahead a bit with cooking some bits and pieces that are going to help me for meals through the week. So I'm not doing freezer meal prep quite yet but I thought you might be interested in this anyway just to see what I'm doing to keep a large family um, fed for the week what I'm doing to make that process easier on my Monday I was going to do it on Saturday then I put it off you know just resting and then I was going to do it yesterday but same thing I fell into this rest a cold mode over the weekend very easy to do especially in winter because it's very cold and we didn't have anything on of these lovely Royal Dalton mugs from my Nana when I was about 16. Uh, she passed away Yay! when I was 27, um, 26 or 27. But they, I have all four mugs still. So I don't like them to be used very often. We do use them though. And I keep them in uh, another area not in the regular kitchen cupboard we do use them though they were actually we had these four mugs were the only mugs we had when we first moved in together they're nice and strong but yeah and this is a mug that my aunt got my husband when she went to japan so i like to keep that away in the other cupboard too <laughs> and i don't keep these in the regular glass cupboard because they're annoying an annoying shape they're just for fun sometimes in summer we do some drinks for the kids in those and I did clean out my pantry only like a week ago and as you can see it's looking pretty, pretty messy again but that's probably just a quick 10 minute uh, clean up job unlike the hour sorting job that it was last week. Come on buddy, come on. Okay, so I've got a list of things that I want to do to get ahead in the week with cooking. So these are things that will make meal prep at night easier and also some things to make uh, making some low carb lunches for myself easier through the week. Now, uh, the things I made this list on the weekend, I meant to do it, go through and do it all on Saturday, didn't happen. Meant to do it all yesterday, didn't happen. Today it's Monday. I've tidied up my kitchen. I've been messed it up a bit, <laughs> um, but I'm going to get this done. Uh, but the things that are circled, I cannot do today because they involve eggs and would you believe it? I've run out of eggs. I never run out. I never run out of eggs, but I have. I think I've been enjoying them every single morning for breakfast. 
So I need to go out tonight for um, Sammy's got uh, school count this week. He needs a few bits and pieces for that. So I'll get some eggs then. But in the meantime today, it says four bags of spinach. I'm just going to do one bag because one of them was going to be for egg bake. The other one is for a spinach dip that I'm going to do. So I'm going to thaw the bag of spinach before I do anything else. I've got some uh, soup in the fridge, homemade soup that I'm going to portion out and freeze the leftovers because that's been sitting in the fridge now for a few days. Um, I'm not going to make the egg bake. I've got two lots of minced beef that I need to, I'm just going to cook it up and then either maybe probably keep one in the fridge and freeze the other one. Then it's done. That makes meals easier. I'm going to cut up some vegetable sticks just for quick snacks for everybody. I'm not going to boil eggs because I don't have them. I'm going to make cauliflower rice and freeze that. Um, and then I was going to make normal waffles and keto waffles, but I can't because I don't have eggs. Uh, so I'll do those things that involve eggs. I'll do those tomorrow probably. And then I'm going to do some nut bars for myself. Hopefully if I've got all the ingredients, do the spinach dip. I'm going to roast some pumpkin, spaghetti, squash, and whatever other vegetables I want to do, which will help me to have those available for my lunches during the week. So that's what I'm going to do. All right, that's going to sit there and thaw out. I'm going to get these soups in these containers and freeze them. Something I forgot to write down is I'm going to, once I've got the soups put in the freezer, I'm going to wash those slow cookers and I'm going to get, I've got a big pork shoulder, I'm going to put in a slow cooker with some, with some herbs and stuff and do some pulled pork and that'll be for lunches for everybody throughout the week. I always just put a plate over things in the microwave rather than cling wrap. It's just easier and better for you. And I'm adding a bit, it says to crush the garlic, so I'm adding a bit of salt because it's just easier. I don't have a garlic crush, I just do it in here. That's how I do it. I don't like garlic crushes. They're, diff they're difficult to clean. <laughs> They're just another thing that can only be used for, I don't like things that can only be used for one use in the kitchen. So that'll do, that's crushed. Get all that extra garlic off the end, whack it back in there. Okay, so I am going to heat up a little saucepan, actually a medium saucepan, the little one is not gonna fit everything. Ah, also, when I was out at the freezer putting soup in, I also got two lots of herbed chicken out. And that is what we will have for dinner. Now, I know you're not supposed to let things thaw out on the bench, but these have been in a deep freezer. These are frozen, absolutely solid. If I put them in the fridge, they're not doing anything. I should have taken them out yesterday. I'm just going to leave them out here for a few hours, and then we're going to put them in the oven. Hopefully within a few hours I can at least separate them. They will still be frozen though. So I'm not, I, I wouldn't normally like thaw things out on the bench, but these are still going to be frozen is what I'm saying. Okay, so I'm going to put this saucepan on, I think, oh, I just, I cleaned this earlier and sometimes I need to chisel that a bit for it to work. There we go. Uh, I think medium heat. I'm actually using a recipe from uh, Real Food for Pregnancy by Lily Nichols, and she is a dietitian, I believe, or nutritionist. <laughs> and um, and this book is wonderful. I mean, I'm pretty in touch with prenatal nutrition as a midwife, but I'm finding this an eye opener in other ways. For instance, I'm going to start eating pate. And, you know, if a book tells you to eat pate, it's got to be a good book, right? Okay, so um, I'm going to saute the garlic and olive oil, and then I'm going to add the spinach and cream cheese, and then I'm going to add some parmesan cheese, and 
That sounds like it's going to be delicious. I'll just stir all that together. How easy is this? I'll just stir all this together until the cream cheese melts. And I call that easy, super duper easy. Okay, so I can uh, have this warm or cold, it's really nice warm, um, and keep in the fridge for up to a week. I'm just gonna try more now, just to, you know, double check that it's fine. Mm -mm -mm. You know what though, it's not gonna keep for up to a week. If I let the kids know we've got this, it's gonna be gone this afternoon. <laughs> so I have chopped up celery, capsicum and carrot and then I've put the dip in that as well so I'll pop the lids on soon and then get on to the next thing first of all I'm just going to eat some lovely chicken soup that I left out for myself yum yum okay I've got like an hour before I have to leave for the school run so I've put my oven on I'm going to get the spaghetti squash and pumpkin butternut pumpkin cooked they'll be roasted and I will use them at later dates for lunches and things like that and then I am now also going to put two kilo of minced beef on to fry up so that that's done that'll be for two meals and that can sort of I only have to mush it at times just get that browned and I'm going to shred up up to four cauliflowers for cauliflower rice something I like to do is just off cuts just capsicum and celery and carrot there, I'm going to put in a bag and put in the freezer and then you can use them for soup stock and also for flavouring, say if you're doing uh, like, a, like a pot roast where you cover it in water sort of thing, like the corned beef silver side or whatever, you can use it for that sort of thing as well. pumpkin and spaghetti squash in the oven there and I've got the minced beef just cooking away here I'm just doing that every few minutes and then over over here I've started to make the cauliflower rice so I'm just cutting it into chunks and then I'm just grating it into this huge bowl, which I find is the least messy way to do it. Now I do have a food processor, but that would mean I have to get the food processor out, set it up, do it all, and then clean the food processor. It is so easy to do in here because it's, it's not even as difficult as grating carrots. Like it's really easy. So I'm gonna do it in here. Beautiful baby boy is here. He's woken up from a big sleep, but not only does he have the cold, but he's teething. He's getting molars. Poor baby boy. He's got an ice cream cone then there, but um, yeah, he's not feeling the best. I have managed, I had to stop to give cuddles and um, read books and that sort of thing, but I have uh, graced up the all four of the wow and this is a huge big bowl so there's a lot there I'm the only one who eats it so uh, this will do me many 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 meals I will put it in the freezer but first I need to do the school run I'm gonna put this in the fridge I'm gonna turn the oven off now the spaghetti squash is just finishing up and the pumpkin is just how I like it all caramelized and gorgeous and I've got the meat there that needs to go in the fridge as well so I'm going to put these things in the fridge and then I'm going to get in the car and I've got mess to clean up 
basically I've got a dishwasher to stack it's not that bad so I'll do that when I get home and other than that I think I'll call it a day I'm not gonna get that uh, nut slice done poor baby boy he might sleep again in the car thanks for watching